Hello everyone, welcome to Lithographix tutorial. I'm Gugan Ishwaran from Dr. Aribeka Mahanan's group at the University of Helsinki. Today I'm going to show you the basic functionalities of lithograph and how to quantify the cells. For that I'm using the builder. I'm using lithographs 1.2.0. So in the terminal, type LGX. If it says update or something, just simply about it and close the program, maybe restart it and it will work fine. So keep arranged the way you like. In this video, I'm going to use a test sample, which we need in a TIFF format. So you simply drag the file and drop it. So as you can see the image, it's not so sharp. You can change the channel and then see which suits better. In this case, I use channel 2, which looks better for me and give OK. By using a scroll in your mouse, you can zoom in or zoom out. Next, we simply click this rainbow button under the main tab and change it to scale gray. Remember, change it to scale gray, not constant gray. Auto adjust and you're OK. So now your image is ready. So go to process and click filters apply transfer function this will change it from main to work as you see can let's change it from main to work and next is gaussian blur stack we don't have a z stack so it's simply zero and for y axis is 0.1 and x axis 0.1 these are the standard parameters that i used and if you want to standardize for your own sample, you are free to do it. And give OK. It's done. And next, you go to morphology. Click C filter. And 2 micrometer size. Give OK. So it's initializing the sieve algorithm. You can see all your process, what's going on in the terminal. If there is an error, you can read it from here. So now the sieve filter functionality is done and you can go to segmentation. Segmented sensation here in the invert, you change it to yes. Click OK and it will give you a warning and you can proceed yes. As you can see, now it's done. And the next step, go to remove label and shape and you can put your size. So from the center, how much you want to remove approximately. So I consider this as like 100, 150. So I around give 120 and give OK. Let's see what happens. It removes most of the things. So now you can use the pipe scissor here and click Alt and click on the mouse. So it will remove the unnecessary things. You can also use magic wand. You can click that one and alt and click drag. By using that, you can simply clean this area. So different people have a different preference. Whichever you feel convenient, you can use it. And remember one thing carefully, you cannot undo things at this stage. So very careful when you're doing this process. And another thing, if you scroll down, the image gets smaller and you can use your magic wand. It's easy to wipe to most of the areas. As I told you earlier, this is irreversible process. So be, be very careful. So if you want to be sure what portion that you are removing, you can go to the main stack and check main. And then you can see what are the portions that you are removing. So this will give you an idea exactly what you want and what you don't want. And you can remove those things.
Also, you can reduce the brightness and you can exactly see which are the cells that you don't want. You can remove them. Try to not leave any islands because that may affect your quantification. Okay, let's see, it's a decent segmentation. Now you can go to process and go to mesh, cell mesh, and cell mesh from 2D image. Change this parameter to 1. It's usually minus 1, but change it to plus 1. And give, okay. So now the segmentation done. So how to visualize it? Go to main tab, check mesh, and check cells. And if you don't want points, you can remove the points. You can check main. So, and if you uncheck your work and surface, you can see a nice segmentation and you can visualize how it's segmented on the top of your images. If you want this picture, you can simply have a screenshot. I'm saving here. As you can see, we have an image. So also if you want different parameters and different style, you can choose any of them and then take a screenshot at any given point. Okay, let's move on. So the next step is, if the segmentation is correct, we can proceed it. If it is not correct, we have to correct the segmentation. So there are two problems in the segmentation. One is over segmented and another one is under segmented. So let's focus on over segmented cells. Over segmented cells, it's a single cell, but it's considered as a two cells by the software. So then we have to correct it. For example, here you can see, this is one xylem vessel. To visualize, remove the surface, and you can reduce the brightness of the work. And you can see this is one single xylem vessel, but it considers a two different portion. And here is the same thing. It's one single vessel, but it's considered as a two. So how to correct at this stage? You can increase the brightness back to normal and you can see it's a two different color. So go here, select 3D pipette, click. And you have to select this one. So click Alt and left click of your mouse and you select it. And here you see the color changes. It changes to orange. So now choose 3D bucket and come here because we want to take this color and we want to pour it here so alt and click so now it changes the color and also the same thing go to 3d pipette you can just take this yellow and change it to 3d bucket and pour it to this particular place so it changes the color so now this consider as a one cell so once you corrected all your over segmented cells and you can go to process, click cell mesh from 2D image, make sure that this is plus one, the parameter and give okay. You see, this vessel is now corrected. If you want to take a screenshot again, you can do the same thing. Zoom out and take a screenshot and that will be your corrected segment. So now you know how to correct over segmented cell. How to correct under segmented cells? If there is a two cells but the software recognizes as a single cell, how to correct it? Here for example, this particular cell, there are two cells but it considered as a one single cell. Also here it is a two cells but it's considered as a single cell. And again, here it is a two cells considered as a single cell. So we have to correct this. 
there are few different methods how to correct it over segmented cell so I will go through one by one the first and very efficient and easy method so you can zoom in right click and drag it do not use the left click use right click and drag it and make it bigger so to correct this one we don't want this set so delete that cell first go to 3d pipette scissors take it and alt left click so now we deleted this cell now this is empty and go to view click fill click new seed go to the magic wand come here so you have two cells so you have to introduce two new seeds alt click and alt click again so you introduce two new cells and go back here remove or uncheck the new seed so now we have two cells and how to fill this take the 3d pipette pick any one of this color so in this case I'm taking the blue you see the color changes here on the top go to 3d magic wand click alt and click your mouse and drag it make sure that you are touching the corners and connected with the other cells if this is not happen it will show you an error and you can simply fill the area but remember carefully do not leave any island done and the same thing for the next one go to the 3d pipette pick this color alt click and you see the color changes here and go to magic wand alt and drag the color so this is one of the easiest way to do it so this is one step and after that you can remove the fill go to process again cell mesh from 2d image make sure that this is a plus one and give ok as you can see now there is two different cells now instead of one so we corrected the under segmented cell so this is one of the easiest method what are the other methods so again right click if you want to drag the image and zoom in as we know this is a two cell and now we have to make it correct so you can remove these cells by simply clicking 3d pipette scissors alt click so this is deleted so still you see the color because you didn't uncheck the surface so uncheck the surface and you are doing only on your work so this is empty because we deleted with the 3d pipe and scissors good now go to view check fill check new seat so we have to introduce two new seats because this is two different cell go to magic wand and introduce one color and introduce another color as you see these are two different seats but they are almost the same color so it will make me confused if I'm going one on the top of other so I have to make a different color so I can again click it and then introduce a different seat remember as long as you are using a another seat on top of it it will mask it and it will consider as a single seat so here it's green what if I don't like this blue color I can introduce another color but if it is like the almost the same I can introduce a different color 
in this case it's yellow and here it's yellow so it made me again to confuse so i can pick another color as long as i'm just using a color and like you know masking the previous seed it will still consider as a one single seed okay i'm satisfied with these two colors so what is next i can remove the new seed and check it and now i can go to 3d pipette okay see this is the previous color that we choose now we have to choose these colors so let's go to green so alt click so it changes the color we are selected green and we are now using 3d magic wand alt and we are drawing the border of the cell So once we draw the border of the cell, we can take the 3D bucket, we can come here, listen carefully, you have to press Alt and Shift button at the same time and you click it. Then everything will become green. So this is another easy step. So you can just fill everything at the same time, but remember to press alt and shift together otherwise the color will spread everywhere and it will be an error so now we concentrate on the second seed you again pick the 3d pipette and press alt and choose the color the color changes and you can go to 3d magic wand alt and draw the border Once you draw the border, choose the 3D bucket and Alt Shift and click it. So it is done. Now you can go to process. You can remove the fill before that. You can go to process. You can click 3D mesh. Make sure that it's number one and give go. So now we created two different cells. So this is another easy way. You can go back and you can remove the surface. And you can see it's created two different cells nicely. You can take a screenshot if you want. So this is a, another method. What is the third method? So this is again two cells, but I have to make it as a two different cells instead of one. So how to do it? Another way, go again to view, click fill, click new seed. This time I'm not deleting this one instead of deleting i'm just going to introduce a new seed on top of it so how i will do it so fill new seed and select the magic wand and alt i simply draw a new seed on top of it whichever color it comes it doesn't matter i'll simply draw you have to be very careful if you are using this last method because if you remove your finger from your mouse, then it will consider immediately another seat. So this is an irreversible process. So be very careful if you wanted to use this method. So I'm done with this one. So now I introduce another seat on top of it. I didn't delete the cell. I didn't introduce two new seats. I just simply introduce one new seat on top of it. And go back here, remove the new seat, remove the fill. Go to process cell mesh from 2d image make sure that this is plus one and give go and it will introduce two new cells and you can see it here so this is done so these are the three different methods for under segmented cells in order to make it proper segmentation so once this is done and if you are satisfied with your segmentation so you can proceed to next step so before that you save the main and we are saving this is a control I'm saving main and then I'm saving my work control underscore work 
and I'm saving my mesh, which is a surface. Control underscore mesh. And finally, I'm saving my project. Even though I use the same name, this is a different file format, so it does not overwrite. So now you see you got all the files here. And also, now we want to know how many cells are there. We can go to Cell Shapes Features 2D, click that. Either you can double click it or you can click and go. You can put this is a control picture and this is a cell numbers. So you can put cell numbers. We got a file. You can open it. Don't panic. This is normal. Click the first row first column go to data text to columns click next pay attention what is the things that used in this excel in my case it's comma some people it's a semicolon so put comma and you can see nicely it's separated previously it was like this and now when you introduce comma it's separated nicely click next finish it so this is what you get. You get all the parameters of individual cells. And if you wanted to know the total cell number, and you can see this is not in order. These are different labels provided by the software. So this is starts from a number two. So which means the total cell numbers here, 261. This may also include the intercellular spaces. So to be very careful what kind of segmentation that you have and how much you corrected. It depends on that. So now I can simply close it. It will ask you to save. I wanted to save, yes, of course. And I have already filed, but I have to still save it. So it will overwrite it. Yes, I want to replace it. And do I want it to still use the same format? Yes, I want to use the CSV format. Done. So now you have the cell, everything, all the details, and it's saved. And when you open again, it's perfect. Okay, moving on. What is next? So from this point, you can create all your cell types. For that, you go to main, uncheck the work. And in the surface, from the label, you change it to parents. So it's become white. So all these cells are labeled as a zero. So now you go to labels and sections. So in the label and selection, change current label. Zero is has no colors and you can introduce anything. In my case, now I'm giving number one, which xylem axis. So select 2D bucket, not 3D bucket, 2D bucket and press Alt and choose the cell type. So this is the xylem axis I provided. And I want to change the color. Again, number two, it's for expanding xylem vessels. So I'm choosing the expanding xylem vessels. So if you're not sure what you are seeing here, you can click here in the surface blend and you can reduce the opacity. Also, the mesh is troubling you, you can remove the mesh by unchecking it. So it will be much more easier for you to follow. But most of my case, I would like to keep the mesh. So, and we can go to another label. And I'm using three for the xylem vessel. Alt, click. What mistakenly I did something wrong, for example, I clicked this one. It's easy to correct in this stage. You can go back to label selection and change the current label, add zero and give OK. And go to this place and again Alt click. 
and it will correct as a zero which is not having any color or any identity so the cells go back to normal also in most of the other cases you don't have to click each cells you can simply click and drag it and it will make a selection so you can put each cell type as an identity in my case i'm using number two is an expanding xylem vessel and three is a xylem vessel and four is a flowing bundle alt and click you can choose your flowing bundles okay you you can select as many cells as you want for this tutorial i'm going to just show you a few cells and number five for me it's cambium you can simply click and also you can drag it it will still work okay done number six is xylem parenchyma okay if you want to have another cell type like intracellular space so i keep number 10 or any other cell types you can choose it so at this point you save your main again it's important you can simply overwrite it yes i want to replace and you can save your mesh yes you can save your mesh if you wanted to make it more distinguished because you don't want to lose the previous one you can simply type parents it depends what purpose that you are using so i'm here like uh, wanted to have other purpose as well so i just save it differently so parents okay and then also you can save your project as parents So once you are done with that, you can go to process, you can go to global, cell classifier, generate cell classifier features, okay, and you can choose which is which one is yours and give, okay. So it will create an excel file here as you can see and you can open it again it will be the same case you simply click the first column go to data text to columns next one in my case it's a comma so i'm using comma some people have a semicolon give next you can see it's separated finish it so you have all the types now the difference between the previous excel file and this one this has an extra cell type column so if you see whatever the cells that you labeled those are the numbers so these numbers identify the cell types so now you can save this file so you can simply close it it will ask you to save so yes you want to save this file yes you want to have the same name you can replace it and you want to keep using this esv format done this is how you label your cells and you can take a pictures as a screenshots the next one is creating a cell classifier that we can see in another tutorial because at this point you can generate as much as cell classifier features and using all the cell classifier features you can create the cell classifier and from that you can use the cell classifier for the future to predict the cells also you can correct if there is a unidentified cells or like misidentified cells i can save my project again and before that i have to check my work yeah i can save my project and i can simply close it 
you can exit the program that's it so you have all your files here and especially the one that is important for you this excel file you can also take numerous screenshots if you want the one like this you can put any parameters and you can take a screenshots thank you for watching if you have any doubts any questions feel free to write to me my email address gugan.ishwaran at helsinki.fi Thank you.